Pirate Life post-match here with Peter Adams. Pistol, pretty exciting end to that one. Yeah, definitely um, one point finish. Uh, I think they kicked two goals pretty quick with a couple of minutes to go, so it was um, pretty pleasing that we just held on and, and got the four points. So. How much uh, does it lift the group to be able to grind out a win like that? Obviously things weren't going our way early, but you stuck to it, fought through adversity and came away with a really important win on the road. Um, yeah, they started pretty well and then uh, we knew they were just going to keep coming at us all day, so we just um, we probably weren't playing how we wanted to play, but to get the four points um, after a pretty scrappy day, we were um, yeah, pretty pretty happy and pretty proud. So yeah, yourself, you led the ruck against uh, Brody Grundy, your first time solo ruck against him. How did you find it, and how did that midfield mix work around your feet there? Um, yeah, obviously he's been a um, the premier ruckman of the competition for the past probably five years, so I uh, knew it was going to be a big challenge. Um, but the midfielders, um, yeah, they just kept backing me in and kept trying to nullify his um, hit outs as much as I could and give the mids the best chance I could. So, Three quarter time, we were down by I think it was 15 points and we managed to turn it around. What was the message from Ken and, and how did you guys manage to get those goals ticking over in the last quarter? Um, I think it was just more about getting it to our forwards and when we did, the forwards looked pretty dangerous. You know, Robbie and um, Dicko taking a couple of clunks. So um, I think it was just that and then just stick to our game plan. Um, and if we kept doing that, we'd win. So. Um, I reckon it was just, yeah, stick to our guns and um, just grind it out. Touch on Robbie there, how important is it having a guy like him up the front that can just slot those goals from anywhere? Um, yeah, he's pretty clutch, so I'm um, pretty confident whenever he gets a ball that he's going to finish it, so it's pretty handy having him there. And just you in and around the ball there at the stoppages, Ollie Wines kicked a really important goal late, Trav was himself again. Who do you think was a really crucial guy inside the stoppages there in a week where contested ball was a big focus for us? I think um, Ollie... All these most weeks, um, th especially this year, has been really consistent there. Um, and then just having like uh, Willem Drew, Bokey going through there, um, Dan Houston for a bit as well. Just having that mixture of all different lads going through there, really, really handy. And they all put their head over the footy, so it's good. And last one, looking ahead to Frio, we've got a, another seven-day break, rest up a few sore bodies. How are you guys preparing for that next week? Um, yeah, pretty similar. Just, just resting up, um, make sure we recover well. Um, we're getting the ice baths now, which is pretty cold. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just rest up and go through the vision on Monday and see how we go. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Pete. Thank you.